Hey everyone, what's up? It's Andrea and I'm back with another video. Who knows, maybe I'm back, maybe I'm not, but we'll just play this one by ear. So, today I thought I'd do a book video because I haven't done one of those in a while and I really miss the booktube community, I really miss booktube, and I miss reading, most of all. So, in the past couple of months I've slowly started to get back into reading. Definitely not up to the same standard that I used to be reading, but still an accomplishment. So today I'm going to be doing my summer TBR. Summer TBR? Summer? Okay, I hate super long intros, so let's get right into it. So the first books that I want to quickly chat about are ones that I'm currently reading. One of them I picked up because it was a book that I had to read for a course two years ago for a literature course and I never ended up reading it. I've always dreamed of being an, a historian and that was always one of my little small dreams that I would probably never go after. It's The Historian by Elizabeth Kostova and Jace. This book is a whirlwind so far. I'm almost at the halfway point. It's about 700 pages having just came back from my first time traveling to Europe, this really grabbed my attention because that whole trip reminded me of how amazing it would be to learn history all the time and it really ignited my love for learning. The brief situation going on over here is, this is a story of Dracula, a very interesting, different take on the whole Dracula story coming at you from a perspective that seems like a non-fiction um, memoir type story. It follows this girl and her father and their journey to figuring out if Dracula is still alive. I really need to get better at synopsis. Let me know if you want to hear a book talk on this book or um, a review or anything like that because I really want to talk about it as well as a few other books that um, I've read in, in the past couple of months. So if you want to see something like that, let me know. Another book I'm currently reading is Periods Gone Public. It is a nonfiction all about um, periods and periods in our culture and how we interpret it and how we treat women. Also about, not only about women in the Western world, but also about how women deal with periods in developing countries. The reason why I'm taking this slow is because um, it is very informative and sometimes I feel like when I try to read a nonfiction really quickly, I don't absorb the information as well as I'd like to. Those are the books I'm currently reading. These are the books on my list for this summer. And it may seem like a lot of books, but I'm hoping to try to get them, get through them by the end of the summer or by at least the end of September. These two books are a series. I don't know if there's a third one out yet, but I was sent these. When I was deciding which books I wanted to add to my TBR for the summer, these were just sitting on my shelf, sort of beckoning my name. It's obviously a fantasy novel. It's by uh, Rati Narota. They reminded me, or at least the synopsis of them reminded me of Graceling. Anything that has that same sort of vibe. I'm all about badass women fighting, killing people, violence. I feel like different people get out their violent urges in different ways and I do that through YA novels. The synopsises of these books are going to be pretty bad, so I don't even know if these to be reads are, these to be read videos are even useful to you in any way. Super excited to dive into these and dive into a new fantasy series, something super fresh that I haven't really heard a lot about yet. So, yeah. If any of you have read this or are reading this, let me know if you like it or what your thoughts are on it because I'm excited. Okay, so I have quite a few books that I really wanted to read this summer. However, I'm super open to suggestions if you think there's a book that I really, really should read before the end of the summer. Um, also, I'm not 100% sure if I'll be able to finish this stack of books. So if there's one in this pile, in this stack, that you think is a really, really great book that I would like if you've read it before or you've heard really great things about it, then let me know which one I should prioritize. Right now it's just sort of like a list I couldn't choose between these and I have so many books on my bookshelf that I'm just trying to get through at this point before I buy any other ones. But 
I might have one that you've read before that I have never read before. So go ahead, leave those comments, let me know what are the books that I have to choose from. A book called Moonlight Over Paris by Jennifer Robson. It was given to me, gifted to me by my aunt. And she said I would really enjoy this because it is set in Paris. And as you probably know, I am obsessed with France and with Paris and all of those things, even though I have yet to go there. It's set in 1920s and um, it's very romantic. It's just about, it's just a, a simple love story. This is a historical fiction and as you may know, I am obsessed with historical fiction. I love post-war stories. I love wartime romances, all those kinds of things. I think this might be a for sure for me this summer, especially because my aunt sent it to me and she probably really like me to read it. Next one is A Secret Life of Thieves by Simon Kidd. And the reason why I picked this up is because Pole and Bananas books, obviously, because I miss that lovely face, and I haven't watched a lot of her videos lately, but I remember the reason I purchased this book was because this is one of her favorite books. And I've seen the movie, but apparently the book is obviously way better <laughs> and a little bit different, so it's also a very short read, so I thought that this would be the perfect summer read, and the cover is so beautiful. But yeah, let me know if you've read it and if you like it. I really, really enjoyed the film. The next book is a nonfiction. I'm trying to throw in some nonfiction books here and there just to, you know, gain more knowledge on certain subjects that I'm interested in um, and also to build my collection of um, knowledge for an essay and a paper that I have to write in the future this semester coming up. Um, but this is by Roxane Gay, who is one of my favorite authors, it's called Not That Bad, Dispatches from Rape Culture, is like a collection of essays. These essays discuss sort of what it means to be a woman in today's society and what we have to deal with, and um, especially Roxane herself. I really, really love the way that she writes, and I find that not only is it relatable and easy to understand, um, but she really does write from the heart. and. It's an, it always an emotional and moving experience to read her work and read her experiences. So yeah, I'm definitely really interested in reading this this year. I don't know if I'm gonna get to it this summer um, because it is a heavy topic, but I may start to read it slowly, just like the Periods Gone Public book. But um, yeah, let me know if you've read it. Let me know if you've read any other Rocks and Gay books because I'd love to chat about them more, I'd love to talk more on my channel about things that really interest me, like women's issues, such as the rape epidemic. Yes, but um, on to brighter topics. Two last books that are on my list that I'm not exactly sure which one I want to read or which one is better. Um, the first one is Top 10 by Katie uh, Contugo. I've read a Katie Contugo book before, I really liked it. It's a very cheesy YA novel and I expect no less from this, but when I say cheesy YA novel, I mean that in the most endearing way. I love cheesy romances. I have not even looked at what this is about because that would just defeat the whole purpose. I've steered clear from these books for some time because I find that even though they have fun stories and they're silly and you don't really have to take them too seriously, I find that a lot of times these stories perpetuate a negative idea of what romance and love is really like and especially for myself, it really fogged up this idea and this image that I had sort of created for what my romantic life should look like. and create expectations for people who, you know, who maybe couldn't make measure up to this like fictitious character in a book or something like that. Um, so I just know through my own experiences and past experiences uh, why novels like these have been a contributor to the way that I think about the world and the way that I think about love and romance. So I just, going back into these kinds of books and, and sort of from, from a different perspective and from a more uh, learned perspective after a really long time, it's gonna be really interesting. I still feel like a gush and I love romance and I love cheesy things, so I think it's gonna be really great. On the back it says it's perfect for the fans of Sarah Dessen and Morgan Matson. I love Morgan Matson. I love a good Sarah Dessen book, so I know I'm gonna love it. It was sent to me as an advanced writer's copy, but this has been out for so long. 
But yeah, definitely want to see if I can get around to this this summer because it is a very summer teen romance kind of book. Last one um, is Paris for One. I haven't read Me Before You or After You by Jojo Moyes. I this book because the cover was so beautiful. I picked it up a long, long time ago and also because it said Paris. There's, I have a problem. So this is basically a book about this woman who goes on a trip to Paris the very first time and her boyfriend doesn't show up. I've heard about Jojo's writing is that um, she writes really strong, independent women and people to look up to in situations that are difficult. So I really, really love that aspect of this book. If you've read it or if you've read Me Before You, um, let me know if I have to read Me Before You before I read this. Um, those are the books that I am interested in reading. That's my TBR for this summer. If you think I should read something else or have any ideas for what I should read or any recommendations, let me know because I would love to hear them. Um, if any of these books stand out to you, you want to see a book talk on them, let me know. Follow me, add me on Goodreads. I've just started to update my progress with my books again on there. Um, but yeah, that's kind of all I have to say today. I never know how to end a video. Does anybody really ever know how to end a video? Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Andrea, and I will see you guys in my next video.